Hi everyone. In this video, we'll see about the liquid crystal display or LCD and how we can interface them with the Arduino board. So let's begin. LCDs are basically the liquid crystal displays uh, comes in variety of different types. Primarily, the most popular one which is used in embedded systems and with microcontrollers and the one which we are also going to use right now is a text LCD. So, a text LCD is capable of displaying text characters. Everything that can be printed using ASCII characters, we can use the text LCD for it. Secondly, there is a graphics LCD which has the dimension in the form of pixels. So, 128 by 64 or 256 by 128, this kind of pixel based displays are graphic displays where you can individually lit each and every pixel and form either text or even pictures. Extending the graphics LCD to a bit colored side, we have TFTs as well as OLEDs. OLEDs are colored as well as black or not black basically but monochrome which can display only one color, two color or multicolor. And we have TFTs which can display a number of different colors. Usually the ones which are used in mobile phones are the TFTs. Now let's discuss about the text LCDs <coughs> particularly. Text LCDs come in variety of different sizes. So these are only four options 16 by 1, 16 by 2, 20 by 2 and 40 by 2. What it means is basically you can print 16 characters in one row and such there is only one row. Whereas here 16 characters can be printed in a row and such there are two rows. We also have 8 by 1, <coughs> 8 by 2, 8 by 4 kind of displays also. We have 20 by 2, 40 by 2 as well as 40 by 4 displays are also available. The most popular one which is used with Arduino is a 16 by 2 LCD which we are going to use. Similarly, these are the types of graphic displays out of which 128 by 64 graphics displays most popularly available and being used. Now, let's see how we can <coughs> use the 16 by 2 display with Arduino. So, 16 by 2 LCD, why we use it? it because it is very popular. Across the world, almost everywhere, the 16 by 2 LCD will be available. It can display 16 characters per line and such there are two lines. In this display, each character is made up of a pixel matrix and that is a 5 by 7 pixel matrix. You will get to know that when you are actually using it. So, every dot is made up of 5 columns and 7 rows. This part of LCD is very easy to be interfaced with microcontroller because it has an on-chip LCD controller. So you are not actually interfacing with the screen, but you are interfacing with the on-chip LCD controller. And whatever data you pass to that controller is then passed on to the LCD screen by the controller present onto the LCD. Usually HD44780 Hitachi controller is there or a similar one made by Samsung is present onto the LCD. So this controller has a command register and data register to which we have to send the printable data or the executable commands. Commands like printing on first line, printing on second line, printing on first line fifth column, printing on second line seventh column and so on. And the data is any ASCII letter that needs to be printed. If you look at the LCD pinout, it looks exactly like this. So it's a 16 by 2 LCD and it has got a total of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Exactly 16 pins. Out of that 16 pins, 8 are data lines and out of the remaining 8 pins, 3 are control signals which are RS, RW, enable and the remaining pins, the remaining 5 are power signals. Ground, VCC, VEE are the power signals for LCD. First pin needs to be grounded, second pin needs to be connected to VCC 5 volt. Third pin VEE is a contrast control pin. So what you have to do is connect a pot between ground and VCC and give the variable point to contrast control pin. If you move the pot towards ground, the contrast will increase. If you move the pot towards VCC, the contrast will decrease. You have to set it based upon your test, based upon your choice, which is suitable to you. 
and these last two pins are completely optional but good if you use them they are used for the backlighting led so this one or the lcd that will look like this is a having green backlight led there are some blue backlight led lcds as well as white backlight lcds available this one has a green yellow type of backlight by connecting led plus and led minus to 5 volt and ground with a suitable resistance you can turn this backlight on let's see how exactly we interface it with any microcontroller so this is how we just discussed first pin is ground second pin is vcc third is contrast adjustment then rs or register select is a selecting command register when this pin is low selects data register when this pin is high read write signal is a read slash write we usually keep it low to write to the register we usually don't read it and when interfacing with arduino you need to make this pin low always enable is a pin which reads everything that is put onto the data line and the register select and the rs line when a pulse is given to it so high to low pulse is to be given to enable every time you need to send any character to lcd db0 to db7 are the eight data lines through which you can send the command or printable data to it and as discussed led plus and led minus are the backlight led lines the advantage with us is you do not need to use all eight data lines and you can choose to use either all eight of them or just the four of them that is db4 db5 db6 and db7 when you use four of them only the data it sent to the lcd in nibbles means four bit first four bit later and it gives us a big flexibility because the interfacing lines are then drastically reduced this is how you interface an lcd with arduino so this is how the port is connected to vcc and ground the variable goes to vee pin first pin goes to ground second pin goes to vcc rs should be connected to arduino rw grounded enable connected to arduino and we directly use 4 bit interfacing mode so we only use d4 d5 d6 d7 pins connected to arduino thereby we only need to spare six arduino pins to interface with lcd lastly for the backlight led <coughs> connected vcc and ground with a suitable small value register like 39 ohm or 50 ohm or even 100 ohm is also okay and then after you make this kind of connections of lcd either on breadboard or on any pcb or even on the tinkercad then interface rs enable d4 d5 d6 d7 to any of the pins of the arduino microcontroller it doesn't matter where you do it any pin will do now once the connections are done we need to see if there is any library present or not and of course arduino has a built-in liquid crystal library if you are using this library, you do not need to care about giving proper signals to RS, enable, as well as all the D4, D5, D6, D7 pins. All you need to do is you need to include the liquid crystal library into your project with this line. Then you have to initialize an instance of liquid crystal libraries like this, liquid crystal LCD. And then specify the pins where you connect RS, enable, D4 d5 d6 and d7 these are some very common functions which we use for lcd first of all in setup you need to use lcd dot begin and here you specify what type of lcd you have so we have 16 by 2 lcd so just 16 comma 2 you can use lcd dot print to print either direct text strings like this or even you can print variables with lcd dot print directly so if I have a variable A which contains some letter, then it can be printed directly with lcd.print A. Then lcd.set cursor is a function which we will be using multiple times. It basically sets the cursor to print at a particular location. And it is usually structured as column row. The where arguments to pass are column and row. Here the columns are 0 or 1 and the row can be 0 to 15 sorry the columns can be 0 to 15 and the row can be 0 or 1 so wherever you want to print accordingly you need to set the column between 0 to 15 and row between 0 to 1 and then you can use lcd.print function to print onto it 
then we have lcd dot clear which clears all the lcds uh, whatever is printed onto the lcd and lcd dot home which takes the cursor to the position 0 comma 0 so 0th column and 0th row now using all these uh, functions we will now create a demo program or a test program for lcd and see how it works for now i will create it in tinkercad as well as onto the hardware and we can see for how it works so let's begin with the experimentation thanks for watching this video